Karen Giovingo is the nursing director of medical oncology pediatrics at St. Lucie Medical Center in Port St. Lucie, Florida. She began her career at St. Lucie 15 years ago as an RN, then became a clinical nurse leader, along the way earning a master's degree and now pursuing her doctorate. The more that you learn, the more that you are able to change nursing. It helps you make a difference in patients. And make a difference she did. As the chairperson of St. Lucie's highly acclaimed skin team, she and her staff received top honors for their work in wound care and reducing pressure ulcers in the hospital. And she developed the RN residency program at St. Lucie, designed to guide new nurses on a path to a long and rewarding career. You have to care. You know, I can teach you to be a nurse, but I can't teach you to care. I train my staff that every person in that bed is someone's mother or someone's father, their loved one. Karen has been a role model for all of our nurses, particularly because of her commitment to education. Education in the form of pursuit of advanced degree, encouraging our nurses to uh, pursue uh, certification in their specialty, and by organizing efforts to improve the skill level of our younger nurse. Part of Karen Giovingo's success comes from her ability to adapt to a new and energetic generation entering the workforce. I love to see Karen interacting with the new nurses. Karen takes 20 to 30 minutes to sit down with her staff every other month and really connect with them, find out what's important to them, and then what are their career goals? She put together a whole scavenger hunt versus in texts and clues and pictures and it's just amazing how everybody has gotten involved. For her dedication to her patients and her fellow nurses, Karen Giovingo is one of this year's HCA Excellence in Nursing Award recipients for professional mentoring. Karen is the perfect example of what our younger nurses can aspire to. And she, she lives and leads by example. For more than 30 years, Barbara Reese has walked through the doors at Redmond Regional Medical Center in Rome, Georgia, bringing with her nearly 50 years of nursing experience and a passion for caring for others. You walk in from the parking lot and you see the care measures right there on the wall and you think, okay, that's why I'm here. In a career that has spanned five decades, both as an educator and at the bedside, Barbara Reese embodies the values on the wall, touching the lives of both her patients and her colleagues. She's probably mentored half the hospital. Among the countless students Barbara has guided along their way, Redmond's Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Julie Barnes, and Chief Nursing Officer, Stephanie Jones. She's loaned her own textbooks out. She has spent extra time outside of her shifts. She's come early, she's stayed late. She's met people that were studying for their boards. She just does whatever's needed to grow the foundation that we know is so important in nursing. She's cheering you along the whole time saying you can do it. Helping new nurses to reach their full potential has resulted in Redmond Regional having one of the highest nursing retention rates in the company. Folks joke about the fact that the young nurses can't keep up with her, but it's, it's not completely a joke. They really do struggle to keep up with her because she is, she is so busy, she is so about it, and she is so focused on patient care, and she's such a strong example to our nurses. Barbara Reese is one of this year's HCA Excellence in Nursing Award recipients for professional mentoring. And for her, there is still plenty of work to do. So you never stop looking when it's been just a very, very busy, very difficult day. When you look back on that after you go home, that's the time that you made a difference with your patient. When you look back and see how you might have really helped that person, then it's all worth it. Leah Farrell is a clinical nurse coordinator and nurse educator at Swedish Medical Center in Inglewood, Colorado, a regional referral center, the first comprehensive stroke center in the state, and the largest stroke center in the Rocky Mountain region. Leah was drawn to the complex challenges of neurology early in her career. 
Now, as a nurse leader on the 40-bed neurology unit, she enjoys interacting with patients, but her favorite part of the job is working with new nurses. I get to teach the new hires and the students that come through and just watching their face light up when they can finally understand what's going on or when they get it on their own and they come to tell me <laughs> that, that how excited they are. So one of the things that Leah brings is just a level of depth uh, to our new nurses beyond their years of experience. On one level, it's clinical expertise and a, and a degree of competence. On another level, she brings kind of a fabric and a, and a cultural element to, to the unit. People want to work in this unit because of Leah. CNO Ryan Thornton says Leah has mentored more than 100 nurses during her time at Swedish Medical Center and their first year turnover rate has dropped to less than 10 percent. It's her heart that really sets her apart. It's her passion for her patients and her eye of seeing that uh, she can really impact the patients in the community here at Swedish by investing in our new nurses. She's not just trying to teach them a checklist. What she's really trying to do is connect with their passion and then guide them through becoming what that passion is. And for Leah, finding their passion often means going beyond her clinical teaching. The first six months in, as a new grad nurse, you really do struggle. And I tell them that and let them know that they always have somebody in their corner to talk to, to cry with. Telling them that there's light at the end of the tunnel and that you're gonna get it and it's gonna be okay. Just having that support behind them helps. Leah Farrell is one of this year's HCA Excellence in Nursing Award recipients for professional mentoring. If I could clone her and, and have a thousand of her, I would. I'm very proud and very pleased and very humbled to uh, call her part of our family. My name is Teresa. I'm going to be your nurse leader today. Teresa Bolito is busy doing what she does best, making a difference in the lives of her patients. Whether it's a new patient. Okay, how does that feel right there? Is that good? Yeah. Or a discharged patient just returning to say thanks. Oh, is where your ears burning today? Teresa Bolito has been a registered nurse for 15 years. All of those years spent here at Alaska Regional Hospital. Teresa is a native Alaskan. A love for the great outdoors and for helping people led her to a career that is both challenging and rewarding. As the charge nurse of a busy surgical progressive care unit, she strives to look past the chart and see the individual. I think most importantly to um, realize is that this is not a diagnosis in front of me, this is a person often helping an anxious patient by sharing family photos. I think what comes out of her is very natural and when she looks at the needs of a person, she is not just looking at the immediate, she's looking at the bigger picture. Often caring for patients immediately after complex surgical procedures, her colleagues rely on her vast knowledge and attention to detail. What stands out about Teresa is that she's very even keeled. She's level-headed. She's a really a superior resource for the other nurses on the unit. She's the glue that holds things together. Teresa also keeps a close eye on her staff, caring for the caregivers themselves by taping small inspirational quotes on their computers, kind words in stressful times. Days are happier when we give people a bit of our heart rather than a piece of our mind. These mountains that you are carrying, you are only supposed to climb. I do that to help to keep the positive vibes going on the unit. Teresa Bolito is this year's HCA Excellence in Nursing Award recipient for Compassionate Care, an honor she is quick to share with her team at Alaska Regional and the people who have helped her the most. These patients that I've taken care of over the years, like they do something for me. The only way that I can um, thank my patients is to give them all that I have.